so you want to learn how to create this disappearing effect for your next music video to make your artist disappear and then come back just like a flicker it's actually pretty easy and you can do it pretty fast and it looks really good so as usual i'll be breaking it down step by step but real quick before we get into it i just want to let you guys know that i'm lurking visuals and i run my own editing store where we sell editing presets and assets for video editors just like you to help you edit much better and faster and if you're watching this during the holidays around new years then i'm actually running huge bogo sale which means buy one get one free if you add two packs to your cart you'll be getting one of them for completely free and if you add four packs to your cart you'll be getting two of them for completely free and this sale won't last for much longer so if you're a music video editor make sure to check the first link in the description but let's get right into it so i'm in after effects right now and i got this kid moon music video shot by same bird i just got a clean static shot right here with a little zoom your scene doesn't have to be a static shot it can be whatever you'd like to and basically if you have a static shot like me where your subject barely moves you could just use the pen tool but for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using this rotor brush tool and just select my layer and start rotoscoping out my subject and rotoscoping is pretty simple so i won't really go through it step by step but i'll just show you guys what i do real quick just try to get as little of the background as possible but everything of your subject and you don't want to miss any parts because that will mess up the whole effect but yeah i've went through it frame by frame right now and it looks good so the next step will be to press this invert button right here which will invert the whole masking and then we will press this freeze button and now that i've frozen my masking all i can just do is press this x right here and you can tell that my subject is masked out and if you can't see this transparency grid all you gotta do is press this button right here now the next step will be to open up the content aware fill button right here and if you can't find it just go to window and press content aware fill and then I'll turn up the alpha expansion a little bit let's do like 8 and I always keep these two settings the same I never change them but you can mess around with them see what you get and let's set the range to the work area and just adjust your work area to the size of your clip just by dragging this up and down but I'll put it to the size of my clip and then press generate fill layer if you can't see this button all you gotta do is just drag this up because you probably have it like this right now so you just need to drag it down like that and then press generate fill so after generating the fill layer this is what I got and as you can tell it didn't do the best but this happens sometimes and what you can do now is either just mess around with the settings hide this layer mess around with the settings turn the light correction off press generate fill layer again see what you get but most of the time you'll probably get around the same results as you can see that I get right now so what I'll do to avoid this is pre-compose both of these layers into one so select both of them, move all attributes into new composition. And when I've done that, I've got them both in the same layer. So what I'll do is just grab this pen tool right here and mask out a part of the background like this. And when I've done that, I'll duplicate this layer and remove the masking from the background layer. And then just move this over here and turn off the mask feather like this. Now you can see it's not too visible at all over here, but it's a little bit visible over here. So I'll duplicate this once again and drag it over here this time. Maybe size it up a little bit, size it down, mess with it till you get something good. And you can see now it's barely visible once again. And just try to fill out the whole frame. So after filling out the whole frame, this is what I got and it looks pretty good right now. So what I'll do next is pre-compose all of my layers into one. And then I'll head back into the pre-comp and select this mask layer, copy that one and go out of the pre-comp and paste it over here. Then what I'll do is just double click on my layer and unfreeze this rotoscope and then uninvert the foreground and background. And now you can tell we got our subject back in place once again. So what I'll do with this one is just cut it a few different times, like every eight frames or something like that. Just cut the clip basic cuts nothing too special and then i'll be removing every other layer just like this and now if i play through this is what i got and it looks pretty good right now you can just mess with this you can get some shorter cuts if you like to like this to make it flicker a little bit more but yeah it's a cool effect and if you don't like that your subject is pretty rough around the edges just like this then what you gotta do is just head to effects and presets and add on a refined soft matte effect and let's turn down the additional edge radius and turn up the feather a little bit and that should help it looks a little bit more realistic right now 
and then you can also add a little bit of a drop shadow this will get some depth into the clip and i'll turn up the shadow blur a lot and turn down the opacity just mess with it to get something you like but yeah nothing too much just get something subtle like this so this is what we got before the drop shadow and now just a little bit of an extra detail but then of course you'd have to copy it onto all of the layers so i'll just do that real quick i also created a subtle zoom as you can see right here and just like that i'm pretty happy with how it looks and if you guys have some fast paced music videos you could also add on some shakes some shakes that will look good with an effect like this and also twixter if you have that effect you can also drag that on onto your clip match the frame rate to your clip and then just create a keyframe for the speed at 100 and right before your subject disappears right here drag that 100 keyframe right next to that and then change the speed to 20 percent and now it will look something like your subject is morphing into the background which gives a pretty cool look and then you can turn it up right right around here when the subject has gone away but yeah if you guys like the look of this you can mess around with the twixer effect maybe even turn it down a little bit more and see what kind of things you get but that's pretty much it for me thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe and as always check out my packs i got the best packs linked in the description for all you music video editors thank you so much for watching and as